Hey, Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praises to the Most High Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahar Kakudash. Yahweh is the true name of the Most High Power of Israel, the Most High God that's been spoken of in the Bible, the God of Israel, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Yahweh Shai is the son, is the name of his only begotten son, excuse me, and the one whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus, Yeshua, Christ, and other names. His true name is Yahweh Shai in the ancient Paleo Hebrew. Ruka Kodash is the Holy Spirit that gives us the full understanding of this truth, and it's a gift from our Savior, Yahweh Shai. My double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone GMS. These are the men that taught me this truth, which is the 100% truth. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect spread around the four corners of the earth, pushing his gospel in all sincerity in his last days. Shalom also to the few sisters, Aquat, who are sincerely seeking his truth. It's the brother Yarayala, Yashar Allah from the GMS Italy camp. And the title of this lesson, um, I'm still thinking of what title to give it. Um, decide uh, what's the word i'm looking for i'm looking for the perfect title to give it but it's going to be speaking on the, the our body upgrade so as you see the bible speaks about an enhancement a body upgrade for the sons of israel okay a body that's going to be different from this body that we have right now a body that's not that's not going to be subject to sin a body that can manipulate all elements elements which I'm going to show you some examples of it in the scriptures. You know, a body that's going to be, you know, way beyond what we can imagine. Esau, Edom, the so-called white man that's in power today, know of this prophecy. And what he's trying to do is to, is to also, you see, whatever the Most High tries to do, he has put the spirit on Esau, the so-called white man in, the, in, the, in power right now, in the power seats. He has put the spirit in him to do the counterfeit of that. And that's what Esau Edom is trying to do. He's also trying to achieve this prophecy in his own way, trying to upgrade um, the human body, take it to a next level. You know, and they're, they're creating you know super soldiers. You know, I I I, I watched a short clip yesterday. You know, um, I've forgotten the name of the channel. A brother, a brother posted the the, the video in the, in the group chat. excuse me so to cut the long story short this man was speaking on how um the russian soldiers are beginning to complain about some anomalies they see in the ukrainian soldiers in which these ukrainian soldiers you know they shoot them you know but they they, they kind of like you know come back again and come after you they look like um the zombies you know so they, they also took some some of the the captives of the of the ukrainian soldiers and they carried out different tests on their blood and they found out different things that they um, different manipulations you know in in their gene in their genetics you know and we know this is not this has been a long time that esau has been trying to you know achieve this this point and they've been doing all different kinds of um of uh, of, of elaborate tests you know trying to 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 transfer the human memory into a, a, a chip or something you know they've been doing all different kinds of things to cut the long story short and not to say too much so they don't clip my video the so-called white man have been you know with the taxpayers money has been carrying out all different kinds of experiments trying to achieve this eternity trying to to achieve this upgrade of humans but you know the bro a brother here in the GMS Italy camp, the brother Kalam, he always says that um that you know evolution is going backwards from from Homo sapiens to 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 monkeys, you know, and that's exactly what is it, what what it is, you know, in in the spiritual sense. And this man thinks is is evolving while he's actually going back and becoming a, a monkey, even lower than a monkey, because a monkey has a sense. And knows that um, a male monkey doesn't go with another male monkey or a female monkey don't go with another female monkey or a male monkey doesn't try to become a female monkey you know at least these animals they have that sense but Esau has done lost his mind you know totally 
so this is this is the spirit that's on this man you know is degrading instead of you know enhancing but he believes is enhancing you know so as you can see on the screen this is just an illustration you know we're going to be giving special new bodies but first let me get the scripture from the book of um from the book of second corinthians the fifth chapter it says i'll start from verse 2 it says for in this we groan earnestly desiring to be clothed upon with our house excuse me which is from heaven if so be that being clothed we shall not be found naked for we that are in this tabernacle do groan being burdened not for that we would be unclothed but clothed upon that mortality might be swallowed up for life and you know this this clothing as a matter of fact let's go read this in, in the N, nlt and this is this is the upgrade esau is trying to attain so he's trying to you know turn you something like this you know starting with his um grain of rice you know that is that's been inserted under your skin you know that 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 thing that's been spoken up in the book of revelation the 13th chapter from the 16th verse all the way down a cheap you know now let's get that scripture here this is the book of um, second corinthians now let's see if we can get it in the nlt oh why is it not second corinthians oops second corinthians 5 so this is second corinthians 5 in the nlt it says we go we, we grow weary in our present bodies and we long to put on our heavenly bodies like new clothing so when yahweh comes back our bodies are going to be changed in a thing in a in a twinkling of an eye as written in the book of first um first corinthians 15 i'm going to get the scripture real quick after this one it says and we the way we're walking in the spirit hopefully we're going to be counted amongst the elect you know we are actually yearning for that new body that's why we don't care about this body that we're living in this kingdom right now you know we don't we don't really care man we're just doing what we have to do to survive you know until the return of our savior we know the, the person that keeps us alive is Yahweh Shai, you know? It's nothing from this kingdom, man. You know, if you work for this kingdom, we'll all be dead. So he says, we grow weary in our present bodies and we grow weary because if we fall sick, you know, we catch all different kinds of hell, we feel pain, we burn, different kinds of things we catch in this, in this, in this body that we, we, we have right now, you know? He says, we grow weary in our present bodies and we long to put on our heavenly bodies like new clothing. For we will put on heavenly bodies. We would not be spirits without bodies. You know, unlike what the Christians believe. They believe that, you know, we're going to be in paradise. We're just going to be spirits, you know, floating in the air without bodies. You know, that mad, what do you call it? The mad doctrine they teach. It says, for we will, we will put on heavenly bodies. We will not be spirits without bodies. While we live in these earthly bodies, we groan and sigh. But it's not that we want to die and get rid of these bodies that clothe us. Rather, we want to put on our new bodies so that these dying bodies will be swallowed up for life. So we you know we expecting a body that's never going to that's never going to die anymore. Immo immortality. And the so-called white man is trying to achieve this on the other side through technology. so-called white man is trying to achieve this through tech you know it's trying to turn you to something like this <laughs> you know many of our people already become like this but they don't know man you know now they made the chip that that's that can be implanted in, in your brain you know they have the MOTB ready i think that's written in the book of um revelation 13 16 it's ready on one side and that's going to cover your 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 money your 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 finance your food your welfare and everything you know 
and that's going to be the next step that's going to be pushed esau is trying to attain this and turn the rest of the people to to obedient robots you know so let's get the other scripture which is in the book of um first corinthians 15 um verse 52 I'll start from 51 it says behold i show you a mystery we shall not all sleep which means die okay but we shall all be changed in a moment in the twinkling of an eye at the last trump for the trumpet shall sound and the dead shall be raised incorruptible and we shall be changed for this corruptible must put on incorruption and this mortal must put on immortality so when this corruptible shall put on incorruption and this mortal shall have put on immortality then shall be shall be brought to pass the saying that it's written death is swallowed up in its victory you know so our body when you shy our savior the one whom the world ignorantly calls jesus yeshua christ and all that mad names you know when he returns and his true name is Shai, that's the name you need to call on for salvation when he returns our bodies will be changed will be given that special body and it said that the least in the kingdom is going to be as 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 king david now imagine how great king david was and remember yahweh shai said um we are all going to be judged you know so those those um those two thirds of the jake that really did wickedness it says um 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 how, how is it said it say you shall be the least in the kingdom you know those that, that that don't you know that don't regard these laws this commandment that don't regard this truth that we teach you know they're going to be the least in the kingdom now imagine if the least is going to be as king david how is the how, how are the top israelites going to be like you know <laughs> king david was mighty was a mighty man you know and remains one of the mightiest men that ever stepped in you know now imagine the least the regular jake the regular israelite the least the lowest is going to be as king david <laughs> that's crazy man and yahweh shai did lots of miracles in which the scriptures can't even contain all the miracles that our savior did you know but he said it that we are going to do even more than he did he says we can we can command the mountains to move and they move as a matter of fact when our bodies are going to be changed we're going to have that same power that same key in the beginning to manipulate all elements every element is going to obey us you know would we'll be able to manipulate the wind we will be able to manipulate the water all elements will be manipulated you know they would respect us we'll be able to read minds we'll be able to read the animals minds and communicate with the animals you know so you see this is that this is that thing that the so-called white man is trying to attain in his in his very wretched level man you know and many of our people are being carried away by all this madness they don't know what's going on you know they so trust in this so-called white man you know it's said in the book of revelation that you know the people um it, it deceived the people by the miracles which it did these are the parts of the miracles it did you know coming with all this kind of all these texts in which it's the most high yahweh shimmy or shai that gave him the spirit to know these things now let me show you examples of what we will do with with our special bodies you know when our bodies will be changed you know even before then before the return of yahweh shaya mashiach before our body gets changed fully you know the most High is going to give power to the israelites men to the elect of israel the most High yahweh shimmy Shai is going to give us power to be able to destroy our enemies men you know those who have been doing all this wickedness we're going to bring down nations we're going to have special powers man <laughs> and if you don't believe it i don't know what to tell you you know this is the book of um isaiah chapter 40 and verse 31 it says but they that wait upon Yahweh Shemiah Shai shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. And they shall walk and not faint. You know? We're going to become the real super soldiers, man. We'll be able to fly, would walk, 
kilometers man we would move from country to country without getting tired <laughs> without getting weary you know this is real power man and guess what there is no there is no electrical thing that's going to be connected to our body it's all going to be spiritual man you know the elements everything is going to be in league with us it's all going to be spiritual unlike the the, the so-called white man is tech that he does it's all mechanical electrical you know you know he used this different elements to do his, his his techs and once something goes wrong here the the world tech start twitching and nothing like that's going to happen to the israelites you know our power is going to be a unique power directly from the from the ultimate source which is yahweh bahasham yahweh shai another precept and i close this lesson now let's go to the next chapter you always need to read this precept to the next chapter verse 15 it says behold i will make thee a new sharp threshing instrument having teeth thou shalt thresh the mountains and beat them small and shall make the hills as chaff you know in reality speaking these mountains and hills they represent the big governments and the small governments you know but literally we're going to beat mountains and hills if we want to you know yahweh said it we can command this mountain to move and it's going to move <laughs> he said thou shalt fan them and the winds shall carry them away and the whirlwind shall scatter them and thou shalt rejoice in yahweh shai and shall glory in the holy one of israel you see so you see just imagine this is just like um one of the the the, the um, uh, what the characters of um x-men that controls tom that controls you know the weather wind and all that thing we're going to be able to do all that because all the element is going to be in league with us we're going to be in league let me see there is a scripture in the book of job that tells you we're going to be in league that i think it's job five let me just put it like this can this is the book of job chapter five verse 23 it says for thou shall be in league with the stones of the field and the beast of the field shall be at peace with thee Woo! <laughs> this is tell me if this is not power i don't know what what power is man you know so hey our upgrade is coming that's what you should be looking up to esau the so-called white man the banking families in in power right now which are the seed of satan you know they have nothing they have nothing on our power that's going to come you know they can do all they like they can create these zombie soldiers they can create you know whatever they can they can they can have their sleeves where you can you can you can you can put um, the memory of, uh, of your dead people into into robots and all that thing they can make them ai's that are bugging out ai's that are going to destroy them they can do all that you know but when the power comes for the sons of yashar allah the princes of the power then the world is going to know that hey the real the real sons of the power are back you know and i can't wait for that that's the spirit you're meant to be in you know hastening the day which was the 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 the, the title given by the elder apostle taha to last year you know hastening the returning of our savior you know and this year is the turn up the year of the turn up and you see everything is being turned up man you know so hey i just wanted to share this lesson and i was actually inspired you know by watching the lesson that was put out by the elder apostle gaba this morning you know at the plantation i was listening to one of his lessons which was speaking about um um heyman melon you know so hey hopefully this lesson was a defined through the spirit and power of the most high unto the next one shalom